so guys we got new um in stock this is what i've been working on and created so these are actually uh plaster jars used the paris of plaster and this is the spring collection here i also created um a white one so these gonna be like the minimalistic um very very uh, classic jars so we got two of these two different designs as you can see and um, this gorgeous design as so as these I absolutely love them I think they're so nice and match like next to each other absolutely love them so we are gonna have different availability loads of different fragrances so honestly I'm expanding quite a lot so we got these um, obviously I'm gonna be making more as well and I probably show you guys how I actually make these and then we got these designs which come with the top actually and they are absolutely gorgeous as well just for holders for for example like jewelry or anything even these to be honest like pencil holders or anything like that um these like for earrings and uh, necklaces and all that so i absolutely love them they're not just for candles and probably i'm gonna be leaving the option as well to buy them as empty jars um so i was thinking these to be honest for my kitchen um to have the sugar and salt um in these like to create them of course they are sealed completely so they are waterproof um i actually use the sealer um, there is dishwasher safe but again i wouldn't really recommend them probably to put them in the dishwasher because end of the day even if you seal them i'm not too sure how that would work probably i should do a test run on that but honestly i don't think anyone would put them in the dishwasher um so <laughs> that's something that i don't think we really need um yeah i also got different colors coming up soon as you can see like midnight um, blue a sage color um a forest green i absolutely want like a deeper option of these jars which i'm gonna be extending then this is like a burnt brown color um so i was thinking to test those out and i think this is the ones that i'm actually gonna be recording for you guys um and this is the one i actually used to seal the jars is extremely amazing and i just used a tiny little uh sponge um brush like this so i just went through them they go very quick and easy to apply everything uh for these actually i used um let me just check these little powders and um, that you can buy uh, called the powder colors um and then you can add this to the paris of plaster and just create these these are about like very pale very springy colors they're very colorful they really look not like me i'm not this colorful in re real life i like rich um contrast very deep colors that's more like me maybe the white i can get away with but definitely not these with especially not with pink i don't know why pink is just not not me um so yeah I'm very excited to fill them in um, with little candles, so that's what we're gonna do now. Right, so I got the wax over here and if I measured everything right it should be enough for that amount of candles so obviously we need to be checking the temperature wax when it's melted is just so nice so pretty honestly right we will leave that um so we are going to do these pink ones right now that's what we're waiting for we're gonna do two uh pink one currently um these white ones already setting um i use the fragrance here um i actually labeled it for myself it is the white mask mask yes white mask 
Um, it is quite earthy, but again, it's, it has a tiny bit of sweet um, scent to it. I actually really love that, and I'm probably gonna knock one or two for upstairs. Oh my god, everything smells so good right now. Right, so we got some of these gorgeous candles and drying them. So we got jasmine, fresh linen, honey. Um, I picked the honey for the yellow, vanilla for the green. Don't have anything too earthy for the green. Um, I got the pink as white cherry blossom and musk, white musk for the white ones. Um, I think the white will be available in all of these scents. Um, but these, the color ones, I think I'm gonna keep them as I picked um, because they're gonna be limited edition for springtime only and these blue one, oh my god and I can't tell you guys which one is my favorite because honestly they all smell so good but if I really have to pick one is probably either white musk, musk, uh, the cherry blossom, oh the honey is good as well and the fresh linen is so strong so and the jasmine is so calming so the vanilla i do like the vanilla um it has a really nice vanilla sense through um but i like a little bit more uh something that is sweet so i think that's why i'm going so far towards like the honey or the floral um but yeah i can't wait until they completely dry obviously i have the hot gun here um, to fix um, things like that that you can see that it's my gonna be creating to make sure it's nice and smooth fixing the top afterwards we do have still quite a lot of empty jars I'm not gonna fill everything up and um, if you will see everything how it goes so these jars I also was thinking um, to sell these jars as empty pencil holders or anything like that so I might give that a good go like now you can see they dried and these are the little concrete uh, pots that I created and um, as you can see it's a mess currently here because I have been she shooting for my Etsy shop which I will put in the description box below so like for example the candle that is also available on my store um, I had to um, fold this down where is the top here so you can see that for example I put the candles inside them but you can do a lot of different things to be honest you can use this a little flower pot little ways they sealed so I used um, a dishwasher safe seal which is right here by the way I used a this um, the thing is while it says this for sure safe I'm not too sure if anyone would actually put them in the dishwasher I don't think um, you know you want to put them in the dishwasher so I'm probably I wouldn't recommend to be honest um, I also have a lot more um, candles over there and I have some on other shelves as well so honestly it smells so amazing right here this is the state of the studio currently that probably you guys seen it from one of my videos when I actually created um, this and I also have these upcoming um, candles they just arrived these new holders where is actually my trays I got some new molds for trays so I'm gonna be creating these little trays um, probably I will share the process as well if you guys want me to share that how I create them and I also got these massive pillar candle molds and I got a smaller version of that as well so yeah oh and um, this this is gonna be like the very basic concrete candle jars um, I'm very excited to try this one so like no bubbles or anything like that around it like these ones and probably even like these I should do some black ones or like dark corruptions 
and there is all the other candles that I've been working on and created oh it just smells so good in here so yeah let me know guys what you think about these little jars how they turned out they honestly very very easy to make the only thing is that you do need quite a lot of tools quite a lot of <laughs> supplies um but yeah it's very fun and it's a lot of trial and error mm. because um there is my little box where i created quite a few as you can see and they didn't turn out how they should so for example this one was a mixture and the color came through um so it's not the right one then we had this one for example when i was pulling it out of the mold it snapped um and a lot of <laughs> different problems you know so it is a lot of trial and error but is a fun thing to do so i would highly recommend as well if you guys want to try them to try them if not obviously they are available to shop on my store so i will put everything in the description box below and hope to see my next video bye